These are the newly designed drums for the Marble Machine X. And for some comparison, here are the drums from the first Marble Machine, made from cork coasters and a matchbox. And that's probably charming in every way, but I really prefer this. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is how the kick comes together. What's special is these triangular shapes that you see inside, both in the bottom and here in the top. They are accommodating this contact microphone, which is the same contact microphones that I always use. The EAP-1 from Erlund, Swedish microphone inventor. And they go into this triangular shape. And we have a place both in the top of the drum as well as down here in the bottom. So we can mix the sound from the more direct, probably brighter hit with the bottom more thicker hit. And we did the holes hexagonal here to make the nuts self-sustaining. And that's basically it. And here you can see how it's put together again. We are going to experiment with different thickness for the top and the bottom to see what different sounds we can get from there. This is where the cable from the microphone goes out. The snare drum is put together in the same way, except for a important difference and it's this shape in the bottom of the snare drum here it's a space for a contact microphone but also compartments for rice and lentils or rice or lentils I should say or maybe a mix of them both because then we can get this sound in the bottom microphone and since we have two microphones in the snare as well we can mix the sound with the sound and probably have much more control of the sound than what we had on the first marble machine. So now for the hi-hat and to the left you can see the triangular shape where the contact microphone is going to be and to the right there's an empty compartment that is going to hold a counterweight and the cross in the middle is like a pivot point for the hi-hat to pivot on so every time a marble hits it it can turn 45 degrees like that and then the counterweight will pull it back so there's no spring on the hi-hat. So here I'm introducing a marble for scale reference as you can see there to the left. To hold the drums up in the air we have a ball hinge that goes on like this and then the ball is clamped from the sides by two parts that goes on like this and this will allow us to angle the drums very freely in any angle to get the marble to bounce correctly and uh, to get a good sound and the snare drum and the hi-hat is hinged much in the same way as the kick ball and then clamps and then hi-hats also have the clamps These nuts are also self-sustained in the plastic. And to hold this whole construction up in the air, we have a big base. I'm not so happy with the design of this base so far. I think it's quite big. And these wonky arms, <laughs> I just lost time. I was short of time to make the arms look nice. But it has some features. You can adjust the spring tension on this bolt. And here is interesting. This screw adjusts the height of the drum because on the other side this screw will act as a positive stop for this movement so the more you tighten that screw the lower the drum will hang in the air so this is the sketch for how the drums are gonna look so far minus the wonky arms then I have received much welcome help from an engineer from Gothenburg called Tobias Smidebrandt who has a really nice 3D printer and he's helping me with printing some parts right now. So in an upcoming video I'm gonna cover that process and I'm gonna try to assemble the physical printed parts for these drums. Okay, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next Winterdata on Wednesday.